Today we're making farm to table mozzarella. I'm learning something new. Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. Today's an exciting one because Ellie's here. <laughs> we're we're cheesy. <laughs> cheesy because we're making cheese. We're making cheese, oh my gosh. Ellie and Jared are here with all their kids. I think we have, I think we've just counted eight kids here. Yes. So we each have four, so that makes sense. Four Three of them are asleep. Three are sleeping, <laughs> napping, the rest are outside running around, and it's just so exciting because they're here, and everything's changed since the last time you guys came. We had just moved here to Tennessee, and we didn't have anything. It was just like ground. Yeah, they have a full farm back there now. Yes, so this morning, she actually woke up with me, and we went out and milked our cow. She got two <laughs> gallons this morning. Two gallons, um, two full, actually I had a little extra, I gave some to Buzz. We have so much milk now. If you didn't watch our last video or one of our last videos, we have a cow now. We're milking. We're getting so much milk. I think I have like four to six gallons in the fridge right now. And so we got to find something to do with it. So I thought it'd be fun to try and make mozzarella with Ellie. Yeah, look at this gallon of milk. <laughs> First, we really want to taste test the milk yeah. because I don't get raw milk. I yeah. go to the grocery store, it's like pasteurized milk. Yeah, you can't buy raw milk at the grocery store. Uh, raw milk is actually really, really good for you. It is so healthy, especially when you are properly caring for your cow and you sanitize oh, yeah. everything. I mean, it was, it was a good hour and a half outside. Yeah. She was like scrubbing the teats, huh? sanitizing the You gotta pump. clean it was, everything so good. And it was with anything, I mean, there's a risk to eating and drinking anything that's out there. I would say this is the safest because it is coming from your farm, your animals, and you know that you have healthy good clean animals. So we're gonna I'm try gonna go it for the home first and I'm gonna start buying my milk yes. through. I really am. You I'm should and always check with your farm, make sure that they are taking care of it. I'm gonna have a little cookie dough ball while she's trying it for the first time. Honestly, it's just really creamy. It's creamy? It is a mind game though. Like I'm like, oh I don't know. Oh mm -hmm. it's like that's where our flipping milk comes from. Like, where it it's comes a fresh from? milk. This is what my mom grew up on, mm -hmm. but she didn't sanitize the cow and like squoze it right into her mouth. Like she literally <laughs> was like, it's not how it is now, Ellie. I know. We're like extra cautious, I yeah. think, because of well, everything yeah. we've been told. No, this might kill me though. This is <laughs> Okay, so we've got oh, a gallon of milk. So this should make us a lot of mozzarella and the plan is to make pizzas. Okay. So we gotta get this done. So super, supposedly it's super easy. So we're just gonna turn on our heat. And we only have to heat this milk to like 110 degrees. So our thermometer, we're gonna turn that on. This is on medium, right? We can probably turn it up even, but. We're doing that, we'll do a little stretch and fold, ready? Just take our dough. <laughs> I am learning. I am gonna go home and start doing sourdough. This yeah. has been doing it for years. I, I would love to go home and do it. It's so fun. I love just having fresh bread. It's like the most simple ingredients. It's just flour and water. Literally that's all it is and it's so good. Stretch and folds are done. So now we're just gonna let that sit. It's 95 right now and it's gotta get to 110. Nice. And as it's been heating up, we've just been talking about how long we've been friends for. Over 10 years. Yep. That's a long time to be friends with someone. Since our first babies were babies. Yeah, like I think that's so fun. And is. they've grown up together. Jackson and Ollie are like very good yeah. friends. They keep saying, now, we, we can just say we're cousins, right? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. That feels fitting. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we're about 100. 100. I think it's like 14 tablespoons of vinegar. That's not how it goes. It's still like kind of bouncing around. Mm -hmm. 14 tablespoons of vinegar. I think I did 210 milliliters measured out like on the scale. Okay, it's actually supposed to be 115 and we are there. We're about 115 to 120, so that's perfect. Go ahead and add it in. We'll turn off our heat and watch this. Like basically instantly, it starts like curdling. So we're gonna stir it for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna let it sit it. for about 10 to 15 minutes, but it's instantly like. Oh yeah. This is amazing. It is cheese curds and yeah. it is thick. Like that wow. happened instantly. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Feel that. So that's the yellow stuff's the way. Um, which you can do like all kinds of stuff with, but for now we're gonna just set it aside. We're gonna cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll do 10 minutes. And then we'll come back. This is amazing. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? So fun. 
here. I love this. I cannot even believe it just is clumped together. Yep, so we're gonna put it right here. And basically now we just need to squeeze out all that way out of it. That is a gallon of milk, people. Yep, and so that's how much mozzarella we got out of the gallon. So basically, we might have to make more. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> okay, what you should but we're do? We're gonna stretch it. Let's put on our gloves. Okay. So we put on these gloves first because it's actually it's not hot yet, but it's gonna get really hot. And so we put on these gloves first, which protect our hands from the heat, and then this will protect the food from getting gross. Now, if we were our grandmothers, we would not be using gloves. No. Nope. We would just say, well, burn it. Yep. It's I okay. Have, I've seen people do it without gloves. I'm like, how? How are you doing that? But we are not, oh, it's oh, okay. for you, sister. <laughs> but um, we are not our grandmothers. Nope. <laughs> I already hear the comments. You can't do that without gloves. We're gonna squeeze it all out. And then what we're gonna do is get it hot again. So this is actually not that hot but we have to get it up to like 160 so that it's warm enough to start stretching. Right now when you stretch it, it just kind of pulls apart. It's fun doing something new. I know. Okay, so we got our so four balls. We got them. Um, now we're gonna heat up the whey and then we're going to, <laughs> we're gonna heat these up. One's bigger than another, that's okay. <laughs> so we want the whey about 160 before we put it back in there for this to heat up. Yes, we want it to be as hot or hotter so that then we want this. We want this to be 160 when we go to stretch it. Okay. Yep, I... Sorry, it looks so good. So you stretch and fold. Yeah, I think so. I think it's I think it's working. It is stretching much better by putting it back in there. Okay, I'm gonna keep Here. stretching and Missy's gonna grab the salt and Okay, She's just go. gonna just put salt over all of it, okay. and we're gonna stretch some salt into it. I don't think it. that you can have too much salt, in my opinion. I think it's what adds the flavor to it all. So, and I'm probably not stretching long enough. I just don't want to like break it, you know. I think it, I think it's okay. I think we might do another heat stretch. round. Yeah, I think we might do another. I think it's getting there though. You can kind of see the rubberiness of it. We're gonna put it back in that hot water. Yeah, it should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some more salt on there. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh mama Sita! I can already tell that it's a lot stretchier. Yep. This is it's fun. It's actually working. Okay, so this stretch, let's just stretch really good and then turn it into a ball. Basically, just kind of like fold it inside of itself. I'm very proud of how this is stretching. I feel like I want to stretch the other before yeah, I start for sure. cooling. I'm very excited for dinner. Okay, one ball here. Oh, I should put it in a cold bowl. I know all these steps. So Missy's grabbing a like an ice bath almost for the mozzarella balls. Like a little ball. Ball and then just kind of folding underneath. You can pinch it on the bottom. Just like you would a dinner roll. Well, you're better at it than me. Like, it might just not be, it might not be hot enough. I'm just gonna call that one. But we might need to do them up again and stretch. Again, yeah. I almost feel like maybe we should. Just, we don't even have to stretch. If we just heat it up. Okay. How long do you want it in the ice bath? Probably instant and I take it out? I think 10 minutes. No, I think oh, really? let it sit for like a few minutes, yeah. I'm learning something new. You know what you could do after this is make it flat, put cream in the middle, and that makes it burrata. Oh, yum. Yeah. All right, there's our fourth little, little ball. All right, we made mozzarella, and now we're gonna make some pizzas later. <laughs> oh, should we do a tomato? Do you have balsamic, guys? Yeah, we do have balsamic, but do we have like... We have good tomatoes, too. We do? Yeah, I just got yes. some. We made Tuscan oh chicken last night. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Wait, I have basil in the garden. Sure. Okay, one for Missy. One for Ellie. <laughs> Got basil. Let's go get some basil from the garden. Basil plant. That's a huge leaf. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my god. Oh. I could drink basil if you like. We need to do the strawberry so basil mozzarella dish that you did. Yeah. <laughs> We got basil from the garden. Get out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me smell. Oh, it smells so strong. Oh. It smells. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, You're not going to wash it? Nah, yeah, we'll eat it. We're just going to go for it. God this made dirt. A, this is 100% farm to table. This is. <laughs> no pesticides on that. Well, except the Just the bun. Okay, oh, here's our mozzarella ball. See if it has any flavor. It looks like a good mozzarella ball. It does. It's got some stuff to it. Should we do salt and pepper? Sure. You skimmed Ellie on the cheese. I know. I was going to say something. Ellie on another slice of cheese. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Okay. Cool. Okay, sister. Did you just pick it up? Cheers. Okay. Best friends, 10 years. That's good. I'd eat that all day. Yeah, got on my nose. The mozzarella chews mm -hmm. a hair dense. Yeah. From what I'm It's I a little to. denser, I think. Oh yeah, it's really fun. Uh huh. It was fun to learn. It's fun when you make it yourself. <laughs> it's good. It's very good. We gotta make the guys some now. Farm to table mozzarella. Cheers. 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 Um. Yeah. What do you think? It's got that, it's got a chew. You guys yeah. flipping made cheese. Yeah, this was I mean, fun. it tastes like mozzarella cheese. Yeah. From our own cow. Yay! How amazing, amazing that is. <laughs> like, from the milk you got this morning. Oh yeah. Like, that's what's crazy. That was so much fun being with Missy, milking the cow, <laughs> having milk for breakfast, making mozzarella cheese. Picking the basil out of the garden. <laughs> and then tonight we're going to make pizza with our boys. Yes, we're so excited. Um, we're just so excited to have Ellie and Jared here. We've been friends for over 10 years now. Our kids are growing up together and it's just for the best. Right, make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having me. Yes. I don't know how to start it. Both <laughs> that we both talked about our trauma with our with chickens. Our chickens. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? I'm gonna let you finish your sentence. Chicken life is sad because they seem so fleeting. Like I had 20 and now I'm down to honestly today now I have 12. Oh, maybe you should pop up from behind the camera. Like <laughs> it was fun so. waking up and seeing him at the door. I know. It was and fun. <laughs> <laughs> one by one they get picked off predators or whatever but they, they have sick. the best life because they are free ranging so they're out they're eating bugs they're not cooped up at all they can literally go wherever i mean there's no farm that is fully secured you can fully secure your chicken but they're not going to be able to free range yeah. everywhere i do like our chickens and but it is sad they they don't last forever it seems like <laughs>